welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me. Now today's video is I hope going to be something interesting for you guys. I have had this idea in my head for coming up to about a year now and I've just never recorded it. So as you can see I have a backlog of ideas and things to record and today I was so busy that I wanted to sit down and I wanted to put some notes on the laptop and be really organized and even have a title for the video and I don't have any of that and I haven't even really rehearsed the idea or come up with the idea <laughs> so this is really going to be some live creation happening here uh, where I'm kind of going to be inventing a sort of half-baked idea on the spot but I think it's going to be quite fun and I feel like with your energy this is going to be a really cool video you see because now I have an audience and there's more energy and somehow that contributes to the process I don't know I think it does I think that um, you know the future has already happened so this video must have happened otherwise why would it stay in my head after so long and I'll tell you when I came up with this idea that's half-baked that we're going to co-create together right now. Um, the idea came from a session I did with a client of mine in Queensland, Australia. Hello to my wonderful Queenslanders and you know I hope you're watching and actually I think I will send a link of this to the person who came up with this idea. Now what he said about astrology was, he said, I think of it as gambling. He said, I feel it's like, um, it's like you're, you're dealt a certain hand. So I thought I should get a deck of cards and we should explore this analogy because I think it's truly wonderful and I think it's absolutely genius. So I agree. I agree with my client who said that astrology is a bit like being dealt a hand of cards. So let's let's shuffle this deck. And I am a student of Ernst Wilhelm and no, this is not a cards of truth thing. I, I'm yet to, you know, uh, explore that whole thing. I can't wait to explore that one day. But um, let's take this being dealt a hand and gambling analogy because I think there's something really wonderful to explore here and it reminds me of a time when I was a kid and my brother I think I was about eight years old and my brother was how old would he have been he's seven years older than me six seven years older than me he would have been about 14 at this time and he taught me how to play poker and I think we all know what the rules of poker are but in case you don't you get given hand so that's five cards so one two three four five and the other person gets their five cards and you check your hand and oh look at that well now I'm going to share with you what I've got going on here so this is actually quite a good little hand wow hang on a minute ace two three four this could be potentially gosh this is quite a good one to get Geez, if only we were uh, playing in real life, I'd be quite pleased with this. So you can see my hand here. And there are some really nice things that I could go for at this point. I could go for like all of the same suit. So I could try for all spades or all clubs. I could try for, I could get rid of just the 10. Whoops, hang on, I should show this to you properly, shouldn't I? I could get rid of just the 10 and aim for a 5. And that would be a straight. I think it's a flush, isn't it, when you have all the same suit? And then you could have a pair and a three, or you could have four of like four tens or something. Or and so at this point, I could get rid of as many cards as I want. I could take a couple. All right. So let let me try for a um, what is it? It's a straight, isn't it? I'm going to try for a straight. Okay. So I can I can tinker with the hand that I've been dealt. Interesting. Free will, maybe, I don't know. Let's take a card here. Okay, well, I've got the Joker. This is, I mean, that, that's actually quite a really good hand. 
this doesn't work. I want to have an ordinary hand. Let me just take these random files. <laughs> I told you this video was being made up on the fly. All right, this is better. And I'm actually going to swap that one out because jokers are wild cards and that's just too good. All right, now this is good. This is this is ordinary and this is what I wanted. So, so let's say I've done all my swapping and I end up with this. Okay. I've got five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I've got six. There we go. All right, now here. Right. So I've got this. What is it? It's nothing. It's nothing special. It's ordinary. In fact, there's nothing here that could win me anything. And if I was sitting opposite my brother and we were to start betting at this stage, because he taught me how to bet and everything. It was really great. We saved our five, uh, five cent coins and our 10 cent coins. And we had lots of them. And he, and he taught me how you start. So we start by, we each put in 10 cents. And then we hold on to our cards. We're not showing anyone. We're not showing each other. And he'll put in five cents. And then I'll put in five cents because I think to myself, well, I've got quite a good hand. Thank you. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to play. I'm in. So then he'll put in five cents and then I'll put in five cents. And we keep going like this. And then he doesn't know if I've got a good hand or not. Okay. This does get into astrology. Just hold on. I know I'm probably, how much time am I taking? Oh my God, it's six minutes already. All right, look, I will speed it up. <laughs> he doesn't know what kind of hand I've got. I could have a royal flush for all he knows, right? If I'm holding this hand, I'm really confident. And he starts to get nervous. We keep putting money in and I, I haven't got anything, right? I have nothing, but I've got all this confidence and I'm bluffing him. And I'm sitting there and I'm just going, okay, yeah, you want to keep putting money? I'll keep putting money. I'll keep putting money. I'll keep putting money. No problem. And at some point he gets nervous. He thinks she's got something amazing and he folds, right? And at this point, you know, I think, I think we do reveal our cards or something like that. I mean, he taught me how to play. I don't know how they play in a casino. I don't know how it works for real, but you know, we would show each other the cards and yeah, I, you know, I, I used to get a real buzz out of bluffing him. For me, that was my favorite. That, that was just the best. If I could get an ordinary hand and if I could just love it so much and just appreciate it and just be, feel so confident and just be emanating this white light of confidence, just going, yeah, I've got the best thing in the world. And he, he buckles, and then I win all the money. Now, this is a terrific analogy for astrology. Why? Because I like to think that if we're dealt an ordinary hand of stars, if, if your chart is, for whatever reason, let's say you take it to an astrologer and they say it's ordinary, which I, I can never imagine doing that. I, I, I can never imagine getting a chart and not being excited about it and not finding wonderful things about it and not being able to say this is great. I can see the tension. I can see the drama. I can see the source of problems, and I will talk about those. But I really think there's always a good mix of all of those things because you've come to be the hero of your story, of your chart. But, you know... What I like the best is taking an ordinary hand and playing it so well that, you know, that you win. And, and that's, that's really why I like this analogy of being dealt a hand of cards. I just think it's really cool because, and I'm not, please don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that you should bluff your way through life. That's not it at all. I mean, if you bluff your way through life, you'll end up the president of the United States. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. That was a cheap shot. But like, you know what I mean, right? It's like, I'm not suggesting people bluff. But what I'm suggesting is that we came to this earth with that confidence. We came to this earth with the confidence of you give me any human life and I'm going to make something of it. 
what's going to count is me. It's the skill of the player that counts. And quite frankly, give me an ordinary hand so that I can improve my skill as a player. Because I want to be a good player. I want to be excellent. I don't want you to just give me a royal flush straight away. That's boring. What am I going to do with that? You know, that, that, that's too easy a game. I don't want to play that. I want the challenge. Give me an ordinary deck. And what counts the most is me. What counts the most is me and my free will and my attitude and how I hold that deck and how I play it. And I really like this concept of, you know, it's, it's the skill of the player that counts. And I'm using that analogy in many ways in my life at the moment. It's kind of interesting. It's like, it's like if you deal with a difficult person, for example. It's like I like to, one analogy I have these days is um, I think of people around me, they're like musical instruments. And, you know, if I'm a skilled player, well... Yeah, I can, I can make people around me make happy sounds and, and they can sing and they can be happy and joyous around me. You know, what counts most is me in that situation. And I do think that the um, being dealt a hand analogy is really cool. And on this channel, I hope to explore many analogies as to what astrology is. So... With that thought, I think I think we got there in the end. Thank you for helping me create this video. As you can see, it was a half-baked thought, but I think I think we got to some point of uh, analogy, and yeah, and it's fun. It's fun, you know, to to explore different things in metaphorical ways, and um, I've got many analogies for what astrology is so as I say I will create more of these little videos but it was really fun doing this today thank you so much for joining and stay tuned for more bite-sized videos like this and longer videos I do all kinds of things so um, please do hit the subscribe button please do press like because then other people who might want to see this content will find it too and I look forward to seeing you next time.